Oh, what's up, Homestead homies? It's off good with Doug and Stacy, and I'm Sweaty Doug. It cracked up to a, like 100 degrees, 100% 100 humidity. Man, sometimes it can be, uh, the weather could just be all over the place. It was real smooth and nice. We were getting some rain. I told you guys in that video when I was at the fire pit that if I don't show you a drone shot pretty soon, everything's going to dry out. So it's getting kind of dry out here right now, but we're making do with what we got. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now, since I lost my trusty assistant, if you missed the video of my trusty assistant, I'll leave it right there for you. <laughs> uh, but they're gone now, so I'm back on the deck. What I have to do now is brace up my posts. Um, on the end post, I don't have to worry about it as much because that end plate will help brace it. Uh, but I'm going to get all the ones that are kind of freestanding, make sure that they're braced in and ready to go. See, I didn't use my hand as a tool. <laughs> oh, I read the comments, guys. Don't think I never read the comments. I'm always reading the comments. What that's going to do is it's going to keep the post from swaying north and south. That's south, that's north. So we don't want the post to sway this way. The bolts are pretty gonna hold it in pretty good for going east and west. Rock solid. When you do a good job, you get more job to do. <laughs> all right, so I got my post all braced in, and I'm going to put on my front plate to here. We're going to double up these uh, these floor joists here on the front, so because this side's going to carry a set of stairs over there. So I have to call in my other trusty assistant so I can get this board up and get it nailed up there, and then I can go on to the back side there and put the face plate on for the front there. Oh, help her! Yep, here! All right, here she comes. Just flip it this way. Put it up on there. Put it up on where? Just smack it right up on there. You gotta hold it. Put it up there. Now go all the way to your end. Got it? Got it? Now hold it because I'm gonna let it go for a sec. You good? Wow, what a good helper! Okay. You're I, awesome. I know. Perfectly perfect. Alright, hang tight. Brace yourself. Oh, it moved. <laughs> you like that? I'm gonna get some more nails, finish pour, uh, nailing this up here. Maybe I can help her in the garden. I have lots for him to do. What I want Doug to do is put up my bee hotel. It's like a bee and um, insect hotel. And what it does is it's gonna attract your other, especially like your solitary bees, like the mason bees, and it, they need a, need a place, they don't work like the honeybees where they work together as a team they're solitary workers and did you know that a mason bee all by itself
can do as much work as 100 honeybees. So I want these little guys in my garden area and all around with my flowers because they're great pollinators for your fruit trees and for your garden, your vegetables, and they're just amazing. So I want to get as many as I can. Now I got this bee hotel from Aldi's a year or two ago and uh, I've been wanting him to put it up. So we're going to put it up somewhere. You want it to be between like five and six feet high. And in the meantime, I'm going to be making more and not one that I bought, but do them by hand. And you guys can do it too. All you need is two by fours. I mean, you can get really elaborate and all you need is a drill. And if you want to do like a basic one, you just get like a five sixteenth drill bit and you want to drill maybe like 15 holes in it and then stick it up somewhere around your garden or around your house. And that way you can attract these beneficial bees that will help do so many wonderful things into your garden with, you know, with the pollinators. So hopefully Doug can hook me up. So what are you saying? It took me two years to put this up? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, Lee. So I there, just want you to feel it. Is important. there any particular place, like, you know, placing that you want to put them? Did you talk to them about that? Like, they need to be about four feet off of the ground. Between five and six feet. I Between said that five already. and six feet. Yeah, I said that already. Okay. Yeah. So, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to put a nail at the bottom of it to help hold it right here. And then I'm going to put one at the top to kind of keep it, uh, keep it right where I want it. Yeah, because you want to watch it because we have a lot of straight north winds here so this way it'll stay solid and then the thing you can do is in the winter months if you do have cold winters because they're going to stay in there and then you can cover them up with a tarp or something to help protect them from the you know the winter but i'm going to have him drill me a whole bunch of them and i'm going to put them all along our garden and then I that am. way you are any visitors in here we're going to show you guys and sneak up on them and let you see what's going on It'll be kind of neat. It's our first time actually putting one of these up. You guys know we keep bees, so this will be an all-new adventure for us. And I've always wanted to do it. And, and, and like I said, in the meantime, I'm going to have him do a whole bunch of little... I've seen um, these bee houses that, I mean, are so elaborate. You know, you can do all these little, you know, different things. You can get really creative. You can go online and find all the different, different ideas to do them. But I just want to put them all around the garden area. Very simple. Something so simple and so beneficial for your garden. And it's a great little easy honeydew. So one of the first things I have to do is suck these holes dry. There's a lot of water in them from the rain. Once I get the water out of here, they'll dry up a little bit. I get back to digging them in. So as you can see now, there's no more water in the hole. I'll give it a little bit to dry out, and then I'll start to digging it again. I have to dig those three holes so I can get back at putting in my outdoor shower. So that's pretty much for the updates around the homestead. I did a few other things too that I didn't show you because I just have to keep moving. If I keep moving and moving this camera around and taking you guys around everywhere, it slows me up. So we give you the updates, kind of keep you informed on what's going around the homestead. It's busy here just like it is at your place. And uh, we hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos and all the stuff and nuggets that we try to share with you. So we also picked, uh, the randomizer picked a winner for the pucks. It was Bumblebee Junction. So Bumblebee Junction, after you watch this video, make sure you email us at offgridwithdougandstacy at gmail.com and we can get those sent out to you guys. Don't forget, we're going to be in at Layman's. June 29th and 30th of 2018. Um, that is a two-day event with Joel Salatin. It's kind of neat. Go to layman's.com for more information. And then the big event is, well, they're both big events, but the one that we're really looking forward to because it's ours is in Hannibal, Missouri, August 12th and 13th at the Star Theater. It's the Homesteading Life Conference. Um, you can check it out at the homesteadinglifeconference.com. I'm going to be working on the scheduled speakers and speaker times coming up here. A lot of people are getting tickets already, and we only have 700 tickets per day for the event. So if you're thinking about it and you know, you're on the fence, hopefully you hurry up about it so you don't miss out when you make your decision uh, because people are getting the tickets. And some of the people that are coming, like Fi Nyth, uh, if you haven't checked out her channel, um, she lives in a tiny house in Wyoming and she lives all by herself and she gardens and she uh, collects wood and she hauls water and she's going to be a speaker at the event 
And then of course we have Mike Dixon. He is the fit farmer at Big Pond Farm. He lives in a yurt with his family and they do market gardening. And these folks are coming with the many other speakers that we have uh, that are going to share their knowledge and inspiration uh, for you guys to glean from. So we hope to see you there. If you want any information about any of the events that are coming up, all the links are down below. The first comment, we always pin the first comment with links and maybe things that we use in the videos. If you hit the show more tab down below, it's going to have all of our information down there like an Amazon link so you can see some of the stuff that we use around the homestead. And if you use our Amazon link, it doesn't cost you a dime and we make a few cents to help fund some of the projects that we're doing around here to help teach you guys uh, how to do the homesteading life. So as always, we appreciate your time and watching our videos. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we'll see you on the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.